Good morning, Miss Janet Park. And we're talking in Richmond, like we talked about in Richmond. What in the world is that? Well, that is a way to keep the, the acute senses of a wild animal really sharp and challenge them through the use of toys and some very unique things we're going to learn about. Sue Pop here, you are the assistant curator of animals, correct? I am. Assistant yeah. mammal of curator of mammal. Yep. You can just read right below. There you yeah. go. <laughs> All right. So, so in Richmond, really, this is kind of the way that you can interact with the animals and give them something more than just hanging out once in a while it and really is. keep them sharp. It is. It's something that we do every single day here at the zoo. All the keepers work really hard to give the animals a really stimulating environment. Right. And it's all about choices. You know, do you want to play with a pumpkin? Maybe not. Maybe you do. Maybe you want to play with a coconut. Maybe you want to go sleep in the shade, go there for a go. swim in the pool. So it's all about choices. They've got a lot of big decisions to make if you're a lion here at Riverbank Zoo. I'm just saying. Do I hang out in the shade or do I go for a swim? But uh, you got some really cool things back here, Sue. Can we take a little tour of, of the different enrichment items? You've Some of them are actually homemade, which is neat. Yeah, some of them are homemade. And um, we have a, a great program here with volunteers and zoo teams that create a lot of different kinds of um, paper mache and colorful boxes for the animals. And we can actually open this up and put cereal in it or mealworms or something like that. We have a puzzle feeder, which is yeah, really, this? really cool. This is, really this is so awesome. This is PVC. We go to Lowe's a lot, okay. Home Depot, get PVC. And what we do is we put these things together, be able to put sunflower seeds or right. peanuts or whatever in it, and then we torch it, which is really, really cool because it makes it look more natural, mm -hmm. and then we hang it in the exhibit, and the animals have to figure out how to shake it to get the right. food items and out of here. How do they do that without thumbs? Oh, believe me, they have a lot of brains up there. They they can use a lot of different pa parts of their body. To Janet that. Parker, I know, has been eyeballing the penguin. Oh, I know. Don't you love the penguin paper this? mache? It's really awesome. We have a lot of creative people here, and um, all of it is non-toxic. Love and those penguins. It's, um, paper and cardboard, and then we can stuff things in it and let the Very animals mess around with it and play with it. Penguins. We also use perfume sometimes. Mm. Uh, you know, the nose is, is pretty mm -hmm. sensitive. Ooh, um, and we don't spray it on the animals, but uh -huh. we actually put it on a little branch or something like that, and I the animals you. have fun. Cinnamon. Cinnamon's always a, a, a good thing to do. Um, we also have some of the animals that paint. This is one uh, of an elephant painting. I That's a that. kiss, isn't that, that, is that neat? Kiss, isn't yeah, it's beautiful. So it's all non-toxic, and it's all fun. It's all stimulate their Very senses cute. and keep their mind and their body um, stimulated and active. You know, the important thing, too, Sue, is uh, even at, at home, I have two dogs, you have dogs and cats, you can also Absolutely. use some of these techniques we're going to learn today if you can rich your own, your dogs and cats, and a parakeet even. Absolutely, absolutely. These are Kong toys. These are fantastic for a lot that of the dogs. That is a big Kong. Isn't though. it a big Kong? And it's kind of heavy. It's kind of a weeble wobble is what we call it. And you can put their food in it. Instead of giving their food in a bowl, you can put it in minutes to eat instead of like 20 seconds so all right guys works. well this morning here we're going to be playing with some of these and we're going to play with baboons and tortoises and lions we're going to show you actually how all this stuff gets together with them and keeps their their uh, senses sharp and challenges them and has a whole lot of fun give them something to do during the day if you can't give them a swing set and a tether ball <laughs> just saying so we're going to be here all morning long on a wild wednesday it's tyler ryan at riverbank zoo and garden